Hello again. I just finished what was probably the shortest game, um, and it had nothing to do with the victory points, actually. I managed to get my mothership trapped in a gravity well with an enemy scorpion, and I opted to kill the scorpion using the, uh, the plasma barrage, because that's very effective against scorpions. Um, but I also killed my drone, which was in the gravity well, and, uh, and then I killed myself. I, bl I blew myself up. So that was not good. Um, should have been paying more attention to my health to assess the risk of that whole situation. I knew it was risky, but I didn't realize how risky or how stupid. But anyways, uh, let's, let's have a game here. So the uh, fleet is randomly rolled still as always that's well not necessarily as always but that's just how i like to do it um so i've got two orb weavers and a cuttlefish which is an interesting uh setup i i feel like this is not going to go very well because the orb weavers are not great offensive ships except when they have access to their gravity wells um, the cuttlefish has a potential to be, um, it's also very evasive, of course, elusive, maybe elusive is the word, um, but yeah, it's going to depend on what the other team has. So, uh, no victory points spawn on the first turn, so we're just kind of, you know, I can decide how far away I want to put my drone, how much do I want to venture out. I generally prefer not to go too far because if I do stumble upon another team, then they will know uh, my base's relative position at the start of their turn when they have all their EP. So I don't, I don't want to get too close to them, uh, especially with my drone. So I think what I'll do actually start just laying out some protective stuff around my base. I was going to use my other orb weaver just then, and I just decided that that would be kind of silly because I could just use a different orb weaver. Like, leave that one for, you know, being offensive on the next turn. <laughs> Saying some real offensive stuff on the next turn. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, so, looks like... These guys are in the north position, and red is in the east position. We're all scrunched at the bottom here. That's okay. Ooh, Charlotte's growling. Cats have been feuding lately. Charlotte. Um, yeah, I think the red team is going to have a very difficult time because the orb weavers are weak to ballistics and the uh, scout and mantis here are both very effective with those weapon types. So I'm going to do a quick dash in this general direction. Okay, did I overshoot? I'm going to up shot. Not even worried about the magnet mine, because I'm much faster than it is. Now, the one kind of counter situation here is that the uh, scout is weak to explosives. So, either one of those. Um, what you call it, it's orb weavers, could do a lot of damage to my scout, or they could kill it immediately, in fact. Um, but that would require using a gravity well to trap it, and also dumping mines on it, because the magnet mine alone is not effective against a scout, because the scout can outrun it. Oh, what happened here? How did you... Oh right, this got moved a little bit, so now my own Orb Weaver is within its range, which means 
he is effectively trapped unless I can bump it away by spitting mines at it or luring it away with my drone, which I think I'll do. Maybe not the best move for now, actually, given that I don't really care to do anything with that ship right now anyways, but my idea is to go after their fighter. Um, because its missiles are... Uh, they have the potential of not one-shotting my scout, but close to it. So, where did that fighter go? Mantis, I need to not shoot. I should be more careful, I've got lots of time. I haven't seen any victory points yet. Oh, there they are. Okay, so this guy is hurt very badly. Um, I definitely want to get him home. I think it's probably worthwhile... Okay, hold on. We'll get his shield up. And I'll get my drone over to him. We can give him an extra missile, give him a restock on his shield, and then I'll tag him so that I can transport him. Doing so will require that I sacrifice my drone. Before I do that, I'll just nab this victory point. Not that I expect I'll win that way at this point. 26. Probably not. Okay, so that just gets my fighter into my mothership's um, force field area, which will heal. It'll heal the, um, the fighter a little bit and remove some of its burn at the start of my turn, if I'm still in this space at the start of my next turn. Um, because I was hit with the EMP, the fighter's speed is cut in half, so that would take a lot of uh, significant amount of AP to get that fighter back over here, even though it's a fairly short distance. Um, I'm not super worried about my mothership getting attacked on the next turn, so being exposed, you know, killing my drone exposes my mothership. I'm not super worried about that right now. Um, I think I'm just going to continue. Going after that uh, orb weir there. In fact, if I can knock him towards that mine, his own mine, that would be even better. Actually, I'll start with the plasma shot because it has more pushing power. Knocks him closer towards me, anyways, for my follow up. It's not bad. Uh, go for another one. Not gonna have much AP to escape with, but I think that's okay. All right, what do we have again? Okay, I think it's time to take care of that scout that keeps hurting us. Uh, you know what? I think I'll crash into him just to knock out that victory point. Oh yeah, I forgot about the force field! There we go. Yeah, I'll take... Ooh, I'm not sure where the victory point went. In any case, I will do a gravity well, and I'll pick that up for a restock on gravity well. And then while he's in there, I'll dump some mines. And magnet mine, more mines. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Overkill, perhaps. That's okay. Um, 
interesting how the victory points in this game have been it's just sort of not really a factor. I did grab a couple, but um, you know the the orb weavers are slow, so they're not really good for fetching stuff like that. Sorry, I'm I'm switching between the ships because I, I can't really figure out what to do. I think I'll use my mother ship's ability. I have just enough AP to do it. And what it does is restocks the primary and secondary fire of all of my other ships. So, boom. So this guy's got another burn ready. Okay, there's a lot of victory points showing up now. It does make it more tempting as the game goes along and more of them show up. sounds like a lot, but I can definitely get a few each turn if I concentrate on it. Thing is, like, because I've I have so little playtesting experience with the victory points, I just have no idea um, when it's best to prioritize getting these things, or if it ever is. Um, based on the current settings. I mean, this kind of seems appropriate, but, you know. Let's see. Okay, they've got that scout down there, and they've got an orb weaver. Um, well, they've got two. I killed one of them. I could go kill the other. The fighter could go hunting, but he's still badly burned, so staying in here will uh, spare him quite a bit of damage. So I think I'll actually venture out with my orb weaver. Maybe I'll drop some mines in that area. I'm not really sure what good that does, but... pick up over there. You know what would be nice is to have a, um, a mouse over hint pop up. Although that would interfere with um, smoke effects obscuring things. Unless it was conditional on smoke being in the way. But Currently, smoke doesn't have any kind of collision whatsoever. It's just a graphical effect, and I kind of like it that way. Whoa. No, 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 no! Oh, shoot. Oh, no, that was not good. That wasn't good. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> hmm. I feel like this has turned into a bad playtest with me making such silly decisions like that. Silly mistakes. Uh, the drone can get out of the gravity well on its own, so that's a non-issue. This one can get over here nice and close, but not too close. We get a magnet mine. And then we'll just dump all of our mini mines in there. It's a lot. Oh! Yeah, I don't have a good sound manager, so when you get a bunch of sounds playing at the same time, it multiplies. Okay. Well, I feel like what I should do is. Ooh, victory point. Um, if I have enough AP, I'd like to go burn that fighter, but on the other hand, okay, hold on, is this where I just was? No, that's where that scout died. Uh, so this will stay here for one more turn. 
kind of want to grab that for another uh, plasma splash shot. But that makes me a very easy target. Ah, I think I'll just stay there actually. Grab some victory points if I can find them. Only one at a time. I may include a harvester ship that can carry multiple victory points. But I'm not sure about that. This idiot's still stuck. Okay, I think here's what I'll do. Try to get my drone into that gravity well to rescue my orb weaver. Let's see if I can do that without dying. It's very tricky because the mines are um, not invisible, but you can see that they twinkle. I wish I had a better word to describe what, what they're doing, but I don't. Okay, so I've tagged the mine ship so that I can get them out. I um, feel like I need to just flip this around, just sort of on principle. Some slowdown. I mean, there's a lot of objects, but I'm still surprised. Whoa, calm down. I can't even tell if he's still in there. Oh, yes, he is. Mm, why not? surround myself here so that I'm a little harder to, to attack. Uh, we'll get our shield on and we'll start hitting in for an attack. See, I can kill that orb weaver and that's all good, but there's still the cuttlefish, which is harder to deal with because it's faster than my ships and it goes invisible so it's not easy to track down even when you've just seen it like with the camera moves over and maybe it'll be easier to, to figure out where they are when there's more identifiable objects filling up the space instead of just gray rectangles and whatnot but anyways we'll see Okay, so we've got this orb weaver, which I forgot was even still alive. And we've got, right, the stealth ship, cuttlefish. So, let's intercept that fighter that was heading for us. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, that was a primary fire. Ooh, minefield. That was a primary fire uh, pickup. Oh, I don't think this will EMP him. Oh yeah, it does. Right. So, that moves him along a little bit. Um, careful. Oh no. Lots of mines. Hmm. Oh, and I'm going the wrong direction too. No! Oh no! 
hey, there's another good um, value of the uh, mines there. So make, like getting hit, it's not just about the damage now, it's the fact that you drop your victory point. You gotta spend time and AP to recollect it. It's a small perk, of course, but it's something. <laughs> what are we at? 19 more to go. Well, somehow I don't think that's going to be the way this game ends, but you never know. Actually, what I would like to do is restock this guy. He's going to get healed by being close to the mothership like that. Don't have enough time now is the problem. Three seconds. Not gonna, not gonna cut it. Okay, so this guy is shut down. Let me check his status here. Power status offline. So he will not move or shoot or do anything. Uh, currently, the EMP does not stop you from shooting a victory point if you happen to have one. Uh, I'll probably change that. Um, let's see. Okay, so the only attacking ships are potential. Or this mine ship that has only one shot currently, one ammo. And my shutdown mantis over there. nice and cozy right here and I'm gonna spend the rest of my turn grabbing as many of those victory points as I can I need to figure out like how many victory points you can collect in a turn Actually, you know, that's going to be completely tied to how long the turns are, which is a player setting. Um, but you know what? I think I have to make this with the... Um, well, while accepting that players will be able to set up games in a way that's not good, um, there will just be... You know, recommended default settings. Okay. So they're starting to get quite a few victory points now, actually, but I don't know if it's quite so many that I'm concerned about it. I don't really have the attack power to um, deal with the mothership in a very meaningful way. I think my best bet is just to keep hitting their fleet. So I'll use my mothership to restock Cuttlefish. And Cuttlefish will find that fighter again. Another zap, this time not um, shutting him down, but still disabling both of his weapons. And another burn. And what else have we got? Right. Uh, oh, I've got a gravity well here. Let's drop a smoke bomb, and that gravity well, maybe we can get the fighter and that orb weaver trapped with all those mines, wouldn't that be nice? Make sure we get a good distance away. Okay, of course I can't see. 
see where the bounds of the gravity well are. Oh, I can see a little bit. A little closer. Let's put some more mines in there. I don't hear. There we go. I don't hear exploding. No, I do now. Okay, well that's good. What else? I guess you can grab one of these in the meantime. Why not? And we'll stay close so we can get that heal. Okay, blue turn. This is becoming a situation where blue's only hope might be amassing victory points. 18 more. We've got a mantis with 13 health. Oh no. And an orb weaver. 83 health, but... Yeah, the fact that I'm in this gravity well with a bunch of mines and I can't see anything means that they're, you know, they're kind of screwed, actually. So I think I just have to make a mad dash with my drone. Like, if I can survive one more turn... Oh, that fighter is burned, actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, oh yeah, very burned. Um, so the, the Mantis is going to die at the start of my next turn. I'll only have the Orb Weaver, which is, I think, out of ammo, except it's primary fire. Uh, not super useful much of the time. Um, yeah. Gonna have to try to get the Orb Weaver home. On the next turn, I suppose. Since it's not happening now. Uh, or... On second thought, I could bring my mothership over there so that it starts to heal right away. Still won't save the fighter. That's what I'll do. I'll grab a couple more victory points that one, and maybe I can just bump this one over. Okay, that's good enough. Ah, my mines are actually obscuring my shot. Mothership. Hmm. Now there's a minefield down here on the way. Okay. Let's go right here. Mothership can grab that. We're actually getting close to enough victory points. Uh, although I'm definitely going to lose some soon. Just stop there. Time's up anyways, don't have a choice. Okay, I need to hit their drone. Oh no, their drone's dead. I need to hit their mothership so we can lose some of those victory points. Because that has actually become a legitimate threat already. Let's see. Don't care about their fighter. If I could just kill their orb weaver, then that would also end the game. I might be able to do that now. Hmm. The mothership's attack requires very little AP, so I'll get some of those shots in there. not doing it. <laughs> uh, kind of sounded like the shot was destroying the mines, and if that's the case, I don't remember 
making them do that. Okay. Uh, I plan on adding like a little compass to each of your ships, like a little point that will always point towards your mothership. Um, because I often find that I'm switching to my mothership quickly just to see where it is. And that's just a bit of a clunky way to, you know, deal with that situation. Let's see. Okay, the orb, or the uh, gravity well is still very active, I see. Oh. Oh, I forgot the mothership shield is down. I should have been attacking it. Oh, no. Ah, what a waste. Oh, in fact, that might have been a fatal error. Hmm. Maybe I can trap the mothership. Probably not. No, that's too far. Uh, not enough AP for another minefield. Okay, well, Mothership can clear mines, no problem with its shield up. And we're just going to collect victory points now. Thanks for the uh, gravity well, that will be useful in collecting them. I can't seem to click on my drone. I wonder why that is. Uh, oh, I wonder if the gravity well... Something is in the way. Interesting. If I switch to it and then switch back. Okay, now I can. Interesting. We'll have to figure that out another time. Anyways, how many more do I need? Oh, 12. For some reason I thought I needed 18 altogether. Uh, hmm. Oh, come on. It really forces you to drive carefully when you're carrying these things. It's an interesting uh, use of the gravity well. I mean, it's the enemies, so it was totally unintentional, but... I don't know if I would ever actually use a gravity well for this purpose, but it is allowing me to move a little faster. Oh, shoot. Okay, where's that orb weaver? Still trapped. Okay, can I use my ability? Yes, I can. Let's do that before it turns up. Oh, and if I get my drone moved away a bit, then maybe I won't lose all my victory points. Okay, and that smoke is going to go away pretty soon, I think. Yep. Is the gravity well still up? No, it's not. Oh, this is over. I can just kill that orb weaver. Piece of cake. Bzzzt. Uh, but how should I do it? Mothership. Restock. And then I'll knock them into some mines or something. I don't know. 
and that's it. Dead on the next turn. Boom. And that's game. Interesting. So the victory points did end up playing a role because the uh, the blue player's attack potential was kind of non-existent because the orb weaver was all that was left and it was trapped in multiple ways. Um, before I had the victory points in the game, at that point I might have tried weaponizing the mothership um, and I was still considering doing that anyways, but the victory points gave me just one other thing that I could do, and I, that something else that I could switch my focus to um, when there was otherwise not really anything I could do on my turn. So that was, that was better, I think. Um, still have a lot of playtesting to do with this stuff, so we'll see how that goes probably tomorrow.